homes and all over the map was someone sent us a picture of a double bill and a drive-in outside of Nashville and it was Jonathan Demme's Women in Cages and Ingmar Bergman's Cries and Whispers. The two extremes of Roger Corman's career. All right, I want to take you back to 1953 and a movie called Highway Dragnet, yes. which opens with a montage of the, all the neon on Fremont Street. And this was your first film as writer and associate producer, yes. and it's not one of the expected Roger Corman genres. It's a film noir. Yes. How did that come about? Uh, and uh, he changed the name um, which I didn't think was good to Highway Dragnet because Dragnet was popular, and I told I told him uh, I would work for nothing if I could come along and be his assistant on that picture. And from when I learned on that, I started producing. I produced a couple of films, and then I thought. I was seeing what the directors were doing, and I thought, I can do that. So on the next one, I became a director, and the picture was successful. And also, already, I, I was working as a director and never stopped. Oh, wow. All right. That's very, that's very appropriate for tonight's program because we're calling tonight's program Roger Corman's first 70 years in Hollywood. And... Um, I want, I want to do something that we haven't done before, Roger. I want to go through your 70 years in about seven minutes. Okay. <laughs> that can be done. Okay. And I want to do it in the following way. Um, because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you may be not only the producer-director with the longest tenure in Hollywood. I mean, there have been some actors who started as child actors yeah. who, who have a, almost an equal tenure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you're also the only filmmaker who has worked in every genre. Because I, I was trying to think of a genre that you somehow missed. Uh, I thought maybe love story was the genre you missed, and then I found no, you made a love you made a love story movie. And so uh, during your 700 film career, and by the way, your name is your name is definitely on 700 films. I see 500 as the most common number attributed to you, but any explanation for the for people not for the for the world not knowing how many films you've made? <laughs> uh, because I've 